Welcome to Night Hacking at the Cloudward Developer Mumbai event. My name's Steven Chin. I'm the Java Community Manager, and I'm joined by Javed Beg. How are you doing, man? I'm fine. All so the same for you. It's been a while. We, we used to work together. We used to be um, in the same team. And now you're the um, group, group Product Manager. Right. That's good. Very good. And um, you're going to be chatting today about the mobile cloud service? Yep, absolutely. OK. So tell me a little bit more about the mobile cloud service. I know it's one of our newly launched um, cloud services at Oracle, but um, how would people use it? What are the use cases? Give us some details. Absolutely. So uh, mobile cloud service is you know, one of the major track that we are covering here in Oracle Cloud Developer uh, even today. Yep. And uh, the way I would like to define mobile cloud service is it's a platform to help customers build better applications and faster. Okay. So what, what I can now do is you know, I can dive deeper into uh, both these aspects, better and faster, and yeah. explain them a bit more. So when we talk about better applications, it's, it's about you know, helping customers build best-in-class mobile applications. And the way uh, mobile cloud service would help uh, over there is that you know, it, it starts with this notion of API-first design principle. So you really don't start thinking about the UI first and, and so forth, but, but what, you, what, what uh, mobile cloud service encourages you is to think about uh, what functionality do you want to offer, okay? What would be the APIs, what are the data objects, design them, harden that part uh, you know, really well. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, you'll you know, really uh, uh, face a lot of challenges if you change the design and do the UI first and so forth. So that's one. Okay. The second thing is it gives a comprehensive mobility platform uh, for, for customers to build various kind of you know, uh, uh, important aspects when it comes to enterprise mobility. Yeah, so, so what sort of features right. are there? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, you, you have the feature to implement uh, push notification and alerts. Uh, and that could be location-based. Okay. Okay? And uh, then uh, what you have next is you could build beacon-based applications, which is pretty interesting. I'm going to talk mm -hmm. about each one of them you know, separately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could uh, actually uh, you know, build the intelligence of uh, uh, caching data so that it is available later uh, when the network is not available okay, and, you so know, offline, for offline access. Offline exactly. Access. And then you could uh, you know, uh, avoid storing documents on the cloud, oh, sorry, on the, the device and store documents, photographs, and heavy content on the cloud rather yeah, than yeah, the device. Yeah. Right? And uh, yeah, so those are, those are the main features. So let me just you know, quickly touch base on each one of them. Yeah, okay. So uh, talking about push-based notifications and alerts, uh, let's say I am a customer uh, who is having a sales staff. Okay? And sales staff is going to meet you know, uh, uh, prospects and customers. And as they arrive uh, to meet uh, their respective you know, customers, they would, uh, you know, we really need a mobile app on their devices, which could detect that, oh, now you, know, you have entered that geofence. And, and you know you need to check the account health of that customer so that you you keep uh, you know you, you're ready with up to date information and and with that information you can engage with the customer well so you could build you know intelligence like that using mobile cloud service okay so geofencing yeah. and then having some sort of push notifications Absolutely. that results from events exactly yeah. right and then uh, i was talking about beacons which is very interesting so imagine yeah. that uh, you know you are a retail store and what you want is you know, as soon as the customer enters uh, the premises uh, based on uh, you know where uh, or, or like to which product he or she is close to, you would want to give uh, you know uh, her offers. So you could have beacons installed in the store, and then you you could have uh, the app interact uh, with the beacon through the Bluetooth connectivity mm -hmm. and get the offers from mobile cloud service uh, by making REST API calls. Got it. So that's that's a very interesting thing customers are doing today. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I was talking about offline access. So imagine there is a customer uh, you know, who is uh, selling home appliances, and they have field technicians who would uh, uh, need to um, um, you know, uh, go, uh, like, uh, travel frequently, commute, and, and fix these appliances. And, and in order to do this field service management, you, they need to use mobile applications. Mm -hmm. And at a time, you, you may not have the network. So you would really want critical data to be cached, you know, downloaded when the network is available, and yeah, be available yeah. for offline access. So that's an interesting use case. And then I talk, talked about storage and, and other stuff. Yeah, well. so um, what sort of clients can you use together with the mobile cloud service? Exactly, right. I, I was going to come to that. Um, uh, so uh, when I'm talking about better applications, I'm really talking about better user experience as well. Yeah, I mean, yeah. How you could ensure that using uh, the, the mobile applications 
which your customers are using, right? And over there, uh, what we uh, really support uh, in, in terms of mobile cloud service, pretty much any kind of client technology. Okay. So you could, if you're a Java developer, you could use mobile application framework. If you are an HTML5 uh, JavaScript developer, because you have been using that skill set yep. for web application development, you could you use, use that as well for hybrid application development. And if you want native, na native technology, native mobile application, yeah, you could works. use uh, that as well. But the point is that uh, you know, with mobile cloud service, we also have the support for Oracle JavaScript extension toolkit, so you could really build rich mobile applications. Yep, so the new Jet framework. In fact, uh, uh, one very interesting offering that has come with mobile cloud service is uh, mobile applications for e-business suite, self-service, and expense management, and JD Edwards, you know, field service management yeah, kind of yeah, functionality. Yeah. And if you if you look at these applications and look at uh, the U UI, <laughs> compare that with uh, you know what we have on the EBS and JD web consoles, it's it's an amazing amount of difference. So that's uh, definitely a, uh, you know one important thing. Uh, the last thing which I wanted to cover in uh, you know uh, in, in this notion of building better apps is yep. analytics. So. Um, let's say there is this company who has you know, invested into mobility strategy, and the mobility uh, program manager would really want to understand you know, how the apps are getting adopted, which kind of users are using the apps, how many users are using, from what kind of devices, which location. So this will you know, get uh, 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 the enterprise a better idea how yeah. the apps are getting adopted, where they need to improve upon. So that's another feature you know, which is available from MCS Analytics. So there are more points, but you know, I was trying yeah, to I say that, how no, that, that you can covers. really build uh, solid mobile applications uh, using mobile cloud service. Yeah. Let me now jump on to the faster part, right? Okay. How, how yeah, so rapidly, speed of rapid application exactly, speed, speed of, of getting development. applications out. Correct. So uh, the, the first principle, uh, which is very important to understand over here, is support of different user personas. Right? So in your organization, you would be having people who are building mobile applications, and, and they, they have a skill set of building the UI part. They are JavaScript developers, or they are native yep. application developers. Right? And then you, you would be having people who are more sort of you know, service developers, who are building backends, who understand how uh, EBS works, uh, you know, how, how sales cloud or SAP or, or you know, uh, sales force uh, uh, systems work, and how to get data from them. Right. So what, what, what can be done is, once you have the APIs designed, you know, both these user communities can actually work in parallel, completely is isolated from each other, having no dependency. And the UI developer will work on the client side, the service developer will work on the service side. Yeah. So that's, that's an important thing. The second thing, which is pretty latest with mobile cloud service, is uh, this notion of uh, RMAD, which is rap rapid mobile application development. And the way mobile cloud service supports that is uh, by this latest offering, which is known as uh, Max. It's like you know, mobile application accelerator. Uh, what it is for non-developer kind of people uh, who do not have the development yeah, skill set, you know, they can just go to a GUI and and uh, there is a palette. They can uh, you know pull in um, UI yeah, components, yeah, yeah. Uh, connect them to the backend uh, services which are out of the box available, and quickly build uh, mobile applications. So that's pretty awesome. Um, the next thing which is important uh, here is uh, the, 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 the whole uh, you know, support of uh, an open architecture in mobile cloud service. So what I mean by that is, I, I already told you, know, on the client side, you can pretty much use anything. You could have developers reuse their existing skill set in JavaScript and build mobile applications. Uh, on the service side, uh, we support Node.js. So I mean, you know, you, you have already people who have the Node skill set and uh, who, they're using it for various kind of web application server side development. Yeah. You can reuse that skill set for even developing the server service side of mobile cloud service. So that's an important thing. And uh, the last but not the least is uh, there is uh, there is this complex uh, problem of fetching data from disparate sources when you are building the mobile application because you want yep, to you know yep. really render that in a mobile application. And, and uh, when you're doing that, integration is a big problem. Okay? So what mobile cloud service, of course, it has the support of REST connectors and SOAP connectors. So you could certainly connect with systems which expose REST and SOAP. In addition to that, uh, there is this other offering from uh, Oracle, which is known as Integration Cloud Service, ICS. Yeah, OK, so, so you MCS, can hook up MCS yeah. to ICS right. and then do more complex Exactly, then ICS has support of, like I think, more than 50 uh, adapters. 
So you could use MCS, ICS, and connect to you know other cloud uh, systems, and even on-premises, actually. Yeah, yeah. And that too securely. So that way, uh, I, I think it's a comprehensive platform for customers to build their end-to-end -end mobility strategy. Yeah, no, I think your, your last point about integration is probably the most important one. Yep. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And we, we, we are going to cover uh, that, you know, pretty deeply in the yeah. uh, event today. Yeah. Okay, cool. Sure. No, thanks a lot for doing the short interview here at Cloud absolutely. World Developer Mumbai. You can watch all the interviews. They're all being live streamed at nighthacking.com. Um, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the conference. Absolutely. Yep, sure. Thank you. my pleasure. Thank you.